Hello, this is your channel, Sosa NASA One. My name is Emmanuel, and now we are going to show you how to use this digital multimeter to test this capacitor. This little capacitor in my hand is a fan capacitor. It's very useful know how to test this capacitor. In this case, we are going to use this digital multimeter, but this digital multimeter doesn't have the modes to test this capacitor. I mean the microfarad modes. This digital multimeter doesn't have it. But now I'm going to show you how to do it using this digital multimeter. This is very easy. The first step is take the capacitor and discharge the capacitor in this way. Touch this cable with this, in this way. Now this capacitor has no energy. Take the digital multimeter and here, using this selector, move and put here in continuity test. The negative here in cone and the positive here in volts, ohms, milliamperes. Our digital multimeter is ready now. Take this two tip and touch in this way and watch the digital multimeter. Now we have continuity. Now we don't have continuity. If you connect this two tip to this capacitor and the capacitor has continuity, it means this capacitor is not working correctly. The capacitor is bad in that case. But if you connect this digital multimeter using this to this capacitor and the digital multimeter screen stay in this way, it means this doesn't have continuity. It means this capacitor is working correctly. But if this capacitor has continuity, it means this capacitor is not working correctly or this capacitor is bad. Let's to test this capacitor now. First, take this and touch with this in this way. And now, subscribe now here on YouTube on Sosa NASA One and touch here and watch the multimeter screen. The multimeter screen never change. It means this capacitor doesn't have continuity. It means this capacitor is good in this case because the dielectric inside this capacitor is good. The dielectric is a material insulating inside this capacitor that divides this plate from this plate. If the dielectric doesn't have continuity, it means the capacitor is working correctly, is good. And in this case, this capacitor is good, is working correctly. For example, when I touch this tip with this tip, watch on the multimeter screen. If you connect these two tips to the capacitor and the multimeter screen do this, it means the capacitor is bad, it's not working correctly. But in this case, if I connect here and connect here the capacitor to the multimeter and we watch on the multimeter screen, don't change. It means this capacitor is good in this case. 
In this way, you can test this kind of capacitor using this digital multimeter using the continuity modes. This is very easy, very safe to know if one capacitor is good or bad. In this case, this capacitor is good in this case. This is all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Susana Sawan. Share this video, give me a like. And thank you for watching. See you next time.